Newton had the imposter syndrome. He said, you're kidding me, Newton. He was like, because Newton was kind of a prick. Newton had a huge ego. He was not kind to his friends. He tortured people as the master of the mint, or he had them tortured. Uh, tortured and, people? Yeah, he was. He was Physically like, tortured people? He was responsible. He was like the, he was responsible for the equivalent of the IRS in, in England. So people would cheat. They would scrape down pennies. Oh, they would, that's they would, right. Yeah. I've read this. He was the master of the mint, it was called. Yeah, that's right. I he forgot was also about this. alchemist. He, he was an amazing guy, but he was kind of a prick. And he had imposter syndrome as well. So he had imposter syndrome. Now, who could he have imposter syndrome about? You might wonder. And if you read his writings, do you know what Isaac Newton, the creator of calculus, the uh, first person to understand universal gravitation, discovered laws of optics? Do you know what his biggest accomplishment, according to him, was? What? He died a virgin. Yeah, that was a weird one, right? <laughs> yeah, yes. I was going to bring that up. He was celibate. You know why? Why? Because there's only one way that he could emulate his hero. His, the person before whom he felt the imposter syndrome. And who was that? That was Jesus Christ. Oh, boy. So he wanted to be Christ-like. He wanted to emulate Christ. And the only way he could do it, he couldn't like fast or I don't know. He couldn't baptize, walk on water. He couldn't turn uh, water into wine. He couldn't turn loaves into fishes or whatever Jesus also did. But he could die celibate. And that's who he had imposter syndrome. Are you sure he just didn't, was like an excuse for he didn't like sex? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it sounds nutty. <laughs> because like, how do you figure that he's out when you're like guy. 14, 15 years old? You know, you're young and full of hormones and you've made this decision to be like Jesus. Yeah. He sounds insane. He definitely was.